Good to see you, Hunter. This game currently has 83 different weapons and 44 different animals. I will take 30 weapons out of the gun rack and shoot 30 different animals. We are at Lagers Point. And we've got lots of cottontail rabbits here. Two sitting over here, one here. And the weapon I'm going to use is the 22 air rifle Hagen. And the cottontail went straight down. I'm not seeing many people using this air rifle in their trophy shots. It doesn't seem to be a popular weapon, but it's certainly a very nice weapon for the small game. Hit from 40 meters in the neck. Arctic Fox coming up here in White Ram Ridge. And I'm using the 223 bolt action rifle marble. And here is our Arctic Fox, 5.8 kilograms, scoring 12.7. It's a male. I'm here at Lagers Point and I have two Bobcats coming up to my electronic collar. And with the 223 semi automatic rifle, I should be able to take them both out. Here's the first one. Over nine scoring. That's very nice. From the front into the heart. Didn't run anywhere. And this one needed two shots. I have been looking for bighorn sheep here in Timbergold Trails. There's a small ram over here. It's trotting, which is not ideal. And the weapon that, that I'm going to use is the 30R over and under break action rifle. Certainly more than able to take down a bighorn. I really love the sound of this weapon. And the big horn is down on the spot. This was actually a rather close shot. Many times you need to shoot him from far. Here's our little ram. Multiple organs hit, plus the spine. This is Whiteheart Island, and I'm hunting Coyote with the 300 bolt action rifle carbon. <laughs> the red dot sight certainly helped here in the bad weather. There's our Coyote. Small one shot from about 35 meters. We are in Val de Bois and I'm hunting Ibex. There's an Alpen Idex way up there. And I'm using the 306 lever action rifle. And down it goes. And there's another one.
just running in front of us here. So we've got two bucks here. Rather small one. And this one here. Not much bigger. But a very long shot with the 306, 182 meters. We are in Hirschfelden. And I've just spooked this roe deer buck. I'm using the 3030 lever action rifle Lone Star. Probably one of the most beautiful weapons available, one of the prettiest ones. I will just have a go. And down the buck goes. There's our buck. And we got the intestines. Roughly scoring 130. This is a tower here in Bush Rangers Run that I've been using since almost the beginning. I've been able to do a lot of good shooting from here. And here we have a group of red kangaroos, no male in there. But I've spotted a male over here. Pretty long shot. But from the tower it should be stable. This is the 308 bolt action rifle carbon. And down goes the kangaroo. And here it is. 90 kilograms would be a huge one. Let's see what this one is. Hit the heart. 82.6, that's a decent score. 194 meters. From the tower over there. The 340 Weatherby, a huge cannon, and that is certainly needed against the water buffalo here in Pickabin Bay. The tank among the animals in the EHR. I'm using the red dot scope. That makes it easier to aim. The black crosshairs just blend in with the animal. So whenever it's a bit darker and when you go for black dark animals, this is a good choice. Not a huge bull. But double lungs nevertheless. We are in Loggers Point and I have a nice white tail ahead. And I'm using the 857 IS Anschutz rifle. No issues whatsoever taking this white tail down with a 12 times 50 millimeter rifle scope. And a pretty rack. 140 meter shot, 175 score. Red Feather Falls, this is my place to go for Roosevelt Elk. And I'm using the 9.3 by 62 on this nice pool here. From this distance, of course, it goes straight down. I like this weapon, it's very strong, it's got a nice sound to it, and it takes a lot of scopes. And we got a bull here with the big rack. Double lungs, and it scores 322. There's a few bears here at my barrel in Hemeldal. I brought my engraved version of the 4570 lever action rifle and you can fire five consecutive shots. I should be able to get two of them.
There you go, three bears down. And the moose is in trouble as well. A really fun gun to use. Three big bears. Collected here. Multiple vital organs hit. Four hundred and twenty kilograms. And this might have been the biggest one. Scoring a bit over twenty five. Intestine shot on the moose. I will go and collect that as well. Bush Rangers run here. Two kangaroo males ahead. Not often that you see that. But what you do see a lot is lots of goats. Let's count them here. Six, seven, ten feral goats. None of them really with a decent score with big horns. But nonetheless, I'm going to shoot the 6.5 bolt action panther. Why don't we pick a red one? Bad shot, needed a follow up. But nevertheless, goat is down. And like I said, not big horns at all. I just picked the long fur. There's our goat from 150 meters. I'm here in Settler Creeks in an old barn and I'm waiting for a feral hog to come in. The rifle is the 762 Classic bolt action rifle. Really strong weapon, Furl Hawk goes right down. Even though it's a classic rifle, this gun doesn't take any prisoners. We've shot this Furl Hawk in the spine from almost 50 meters. From up there. I'm approaching the super elusive Sambar Deer here in Pickabin Bay. And the weapon that I want to use is the 7mm Break Action Rifle Bukatan. I just need to get a good line of sight. Oh, and he sees me already. I have to be careful. It's really incredible how sensitive these deer are. So let's just uh, sneak closer here. And then I should get a good shot. I'm using the scope with the illuminated reticle. Ah, very nice, the sandbar goes straight down. This sight can only be zoomed in up to six times, but the illumination of the reticle is really useful here in the dark environment on the dark animal. Thunderstorm! And we go and pick up this sandbar. Not a huge one, a trophy sandbar would score about 350, but nevertheless, it's hard to find and hard to shoot. Scoring 190. Reserve Hemeldal, animal calling a red fox. And I will call it over here, find a good ambush point. Hemeldal is quite wild, quite hilly. Oh, this rock might come in handy. And it's a female calling. They are not as sensitive as the males. So let's just use the predator caller here. Yeah, that rock is perfect. Yeah. 
and then wait for it to arrive. A 357 revolver was available very early in this game and at some point they added this shiny version the first lady I was too close when I called in the fox you should keep a safety distance of 30 meters that was not the case here and while I was fumbling around showing you the revolver the fox ran but of course the revolver is stronger here's our fox and multiple organs hit this is a customized version of the 44 magnum revolver suitable for self-defense but if you put a scope on it and especially if it's a zoomable one you've got no issues taking down mid-sized deer this is a Sitka deer coming in let's go have a look and as we approach the track don't even need to read the blood here we can already see the dead animal ahead lungs hit and there is the Sitka deer Almost 100 meters and no issues taking this Sitka down. Pickabin Bay using the 454 El Toro against the Banteng. There goes the cow. I was crawling up to it because they're extremely skittish. And this is one of those fur types that you see a bit less. Beautiful with the horns. Got the lung and the spine. Grey wolf here across the river in Timbergold Trails. This is the 10 millimeter semi automatic pistol Let's see if I can uh, if I can take this one out from here oh yes went straight down let's go have a look of course the red dot sight helped a lot would have been a difficult shot with the iron sights Grey Wolf shot from roughly 50 meters. Hunting the snowshoe hare with the 22 grasshopper pistol is very simple. Either you do a long shot on them or you make them run and once they stop fleeing they will just sit there and you can shoot them like fish in a barrel. What I'm going to do is I will spook one of these hares so that I can demonstrate how you can fire a number of shots after them very quickly. However, this one appears to be bucked. I'll have to find another one. There's it's a here. Let's just make it run. And then fire after it. There's the dead here. Poor guy. We haven't used any shotgun yet. This is the 12GA Blazer F3 over and under. And I'm in Hirschfelden hunting the Canada Goose. <laughs> Five geese coming down. Maybe this one as well. All right.
right. And we have four geese down. I am in the mountains of Val de Bois and I'm hunting the rock ptarmigan with the 12 gauge side by side engraved shotgun. Not easy to shoot these guys. But I got two of them. Hunting Rocky Mountain Elk here in Timbergold Trails. Yes, that would be the one. And we're using the heavy recurve bow with the fitting nickname Instinctive Archer. It really needs instinctive shooting. So this bull is down and since another one just called, we'll just wait for that as well. And there comes the other elk. And that goes down as well. Two bulls down. Double lungs on this one. The heavy recurve bow does the job. Let's see what we hit here. Double lungs and the hard. Wide rim rich, wide views. Animals easy to see. We have a moose coming in here. And I'm going to use the reverse draw crossbow. Pretty strong crossbow. Alone the fact that I have four pins here, four dots, and they're zeroed to 20, 40, 60, and 80 meters. That is suggesting that I could do shots over this distance. Likely on smaller game though. Not on this size game. So we're about at 40 meters here. Just guessing. Let's have a shot at this moose. Hit it straight. Now if we hit a vital organ, it'll go down and the moose lays down in the snow already. That's how far it ran. Crossbow has done the job. I've hit the lungs and I wouldn't be surprised if other uh, vital organs were hit as well. Didn't really run far. I'm gonna guess the liver was also hit. Let's have a quick look here. It's a small moose, but the weight isn't much different to the high scoring ones. And in fact, I did hit the lung, the liver and the stomach. And this is how far the moose ran. I have just left the Eastern Lodge of Pickabin Bay and received a call from this Rusa buck. And the nice hunter I am, of course, I responded to the call. Okay, let's go and find it. And here's the buck already. Breathing hard. I would have expected for, uh, for this bow from 30 meters uh, to have a deadly blow, but that wasn't the case. Just gonna use a second arrow here. Rusa deer buck, 240 would be great, 199 it is. 
This is the 12 GA semi-automatic shotgun swamp camo that I'm going to use against the American Black Duck. American Black Duck's coming in. We've got three shots. And three ducks are down. The snake bite was the first bow in this game. And at some point they have added this winter camo version. It doesn't really have a camo effect, so I'm using it here in the north of Whiteheart Island in the summer reserve, which is the paradise of blacktail deer. A blacktail deer buck here by my tower. The pin is um, zeroed to 20 meters. That's about the distance here. And the buck drops dead on the spot. No issues whatsoever for the snake bite. Small black tailed deer hit both lungs. And the deer is down. I'm hunting grizzly bear in Timbergold Trails. And this animal has become very difficult to hunt. And here is one at roughly 30 meters. And I'm using the 10 point carbon fusion crossbow. Ooh, and I think it went straight down. Yes. Perfect shot. With the scope with the four dots that reach from 10 to 40 meters and then aiming with the third dot hit the bear straight and there it goes rolling rolling down the hill can you stop here for a minute wow went straight through the whole bear double lungs and all the vital organs except the heart Let's get the cap lock muzzle loader ready here in Hirschfelden where we're looking for red deer. We will have to lure it close. This muzzle loader is weaker than the inline muzzle loader and the red deer is a good size animal. So we'll just wait for one to come in. That didn't take long. All right, over here. Yeah, we have a chat going here. Red deer is down, we can see through the smoke. They have added a sight to this muzzle loader. Initially it was only iron sights, but now with the scope, pretty easy from this distance. Double long shot on this rather small red deer. We enjoy the view here down into White Ram Ridge. And so do the bison. There's a herd here and I'm using the inline muzzle loader with the conical bullets and going after these large animals, especially from this close, either go for the lungs or for the brain. This bison came up faster than I thought, but even from a a larger distance from a greater distance I could have still downed this bison from the front bullet went through the brain into the lung as well mid-size male mid-size bull 
I hope you liked the selection of animals and the weapons that I used. And now it is your turn, Hunter. Tell me which animal you would like to see shot, with which weapon and in which reserve. And if I like the idea and of course if the weapon is permitted for that animal, I will make a video and mention your suggestion.